Hello and welcome all. Today we are going to create a web API with ASP.NET Core and MongoDB which is a NoSQL DB or no relational database which is a NoSQL concept. Now this for the sake of convenience this entire project is divided into the three parts where we are going to do the first part that is a discussion on NoSQL database concepts and MongoDB and MongoDB will be using for the subsequent second and third parts. So watch out. Now before we delve deep into the project you know um, I would like to do some introduction about what is a MongoDB. It is a NoSQL DB. Now with NoSQL DB let's see go for a discussion. Now before that I would like to say that this um, the learning outcome or the things that you would learn out of this tutorial will be configuring a MongoDB. I'll come to that in a minute and uh, create a MongoDB database, define a MongoDB collection and schema and perform current operation with MongoDB from a web API. So what the heck is MongoDB and NoSQL database about? So as per Wikipedia definition, a NoSQL database provides mechanism for storage and retrieval of data that is modeled in means other than the tabular relations used in the relational databases. So, so far we have talked about Microsoft SQL databases. There are other databases like MySQL, Oracle and many other, but they are all relational databases. So we are going to see what a non-relational database looks like, you know, what is the flavor of a non-relational database. Now data structures uh, used by NoSQL, so NoSQL database is that is no relational, that is, there is, it is not a SQL database. So um, they have a data structures which are key value, wide column, graph or document and are different from those used by the default in relational databases, making some operations faster in NoSQL. And where NoSQL database is a good option. Now we have seen that you know SQL database is in operation in all of our projects so far. But those who are coming from the industry, you might have seen of late at least in the last few years that you know NoSQL database like MongoDB is also be used along with the Microsoft SQL database or some of the web companies that I have seen, they exclusively use MongoDB which is a NoSQL database. Now it has got an advantage over uh, I mean relational or SQL database in the sense that where the primary goal is flexibility and speed, it's a good option and storing large volumes of data without structure. A NoSQL database doesn't limit storable data types. So for big data or for, uh, for uh, you know um, data scientists you know you need to um, deal with large volumes of data. So in that case you can use a NoSQL database and it using for using cloud computing and storage using affordable hardware on site for testing and then for production in the cloud is what NoSQL databases are designed for and it also helps in rapid de development. Now it doesn't require the level of preparation typically needed for relational databases. Now here is a topic on indicators of projects where NoSQL and NoSQL are ideal. You know, SQL is an ideal choice or suited ideally for logic related discrete data requirements which can be identified easily and where the data structure is known upfront. And it is a standard based proven technology over a number of uh, years with good developer experience and support. And it is, you know, exclusively um, the choice of uh, developers and other IT support people where data integrity is essential. So we'll not talk about the data integrity part anything anyway, but you know it is sufficient for me from the point of view of this uh, paper or this course is that you know data integrity is not one of the uh, strengths of a 
NoSQL database or non-relational database. So, and NoSQL has an, is an ideal choice where unrelated indeterminate and evolving data requirements. So, where you are growing up in your data and you um, want to use um, mixed data types, there also um, it's an ideal choice and it has got simpler project objectives we were able to start coding immediately and speed and scalability is imperative. So they are the cases where NoSQL have got a bit of an edge over the SQL databases. And in concluding, in general it's about SQL and NoSQL rather being an issue of SQL versus NoSQL. But both have their own clear place and increasingly being integrated into each other. That's it uh, before starting with the actual project.